out that this is not the the uh, the uh, final to the Carson Wentz story or saga. Um, I will always have confidence in him as a person and him as a player. Um, you know, whenever you're this bad, it's never just one person. It's never just one position group, and it's never just players, coaches, front office. It's everybody, um, and that's the reality. Um, you know, uh, we should be able to manufacture more points than we're putting up, and we should be able to play better no matter what's called and put up more points than we're putting up. So this is ultimately a failure on a lot of different levels uh, to facilitate a good offense, um, and, uh, you know, we just got to keep trying to do better. And I think that that's when you see decisions like this being made are when you're trying, you know, you, you're trying to get something going. And, uh, you know, we owe it to the to the rest of the team here. We owe it to the Eagles to try and, you know, we owe it to the fan base, certainly, uh, to figure something out. Um, however, you know, whether it's too late or not, you know, you still keep working. You still keep fighting and you still keep trying to grind out and figure out what's going on. And you still keep trying to freaking win. You still keep trying to have success on game day. And uh, that's what we're going to do this week. G A G L E S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>
really this team is flawed when you look at it, right? Let's take it to week one. Let's take it to week one real fast. And a lot of people want to blame these on Carson because he did throw two picks. I mean, you know, I, I only blame one of them on him, but it is what it is. He threw two picks. So when you look at it, right, we threw the football 61 times. Was up 17. Threw the football 61 times. Why are we up? Right? Got Carson Wentz got sacked eight times. Eight times. And 13 quarterback hits. So that's where it all started. This where it's all this where it all falls down. When you really look at it and you and, and, and you really look at what's going on with this offense, I understand. Is it on Howie? Yes, some of it is. It is. And I'm not saying that we don't have talent on the offense. I think we do. I understand Goddard missed miss time, but you do got Goddard. Uh, uh, Zach Ertz, I know he missed time, but you still got him. Miles Sanders, don't use him enough. Boston Scott, don't use him enough. Rhaegar, Hightower. Um, it's talent here. Quez Watkins, don't use him at all. It's talent here. Greg Ward, the stud, really the, 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 the wide receiver star last year. Fulgham, the wide receiver star this year. It's schemes. It's schemes, and it's not running the football enough, and it's a shame. It's really a shame, and the reason I'm saying it's a shame, it don't got nothing to do with Carson Wentz no more. The reason I'm saying it's a shame because it's a shame for Jalen Hurts that if he's coming into his first start against the number one defense and he has to run that offense that we've been watching for the last 13, 14 weeks, 13 weeks, mm -hmm. Ain't going to look good for the kid. And that's a shame, man. That's a shame. Now, is it ways to do things to get people open and scheme people open? Is it ways that you need to run more screens? Is it ways that you can use God's speed to their advantage? Like, let me ask y'all this, right? They finally ran a jet, a jet sweep with Rhaegar. I've been calling for this. But what also did I say? You can do things off, you can do things off of that same play. But it could offer the same motion, but it could be a different play. Why no fake the Rhaegar? You know what I mean? Why why no fake end around a Rhaegar and then it'd be a pass or just might be a run or it could be an end around? Have y'all seen an end around this year? And I, and I understand maybe because of personnel, maybe because of that, that you can't even, you can't, if you can't run a simple screen without dudes uh, falling into each other, then maybe, 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 maybe the personnel, they can't run. Um, they probably try these things in practice. I don't know, but they can't run an end around and they can't run a reverse and they can't do trick plays because there's no cohesiveness. But if that is the truth, to me, that's on coaching because we see guys like, Bill Belichick. We see guys even eating out now the Saints, right? The Saints before they got all this talent, they still was doing trick things without my without well, before they had Michael Thomas. You know what I mean? Before they had Alvin Kamara, they were still doing things like that. When I say the offense is so manila, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's like the defense knows the defense knows what you're going to do before you even do it. And there's really no quarterback that can survive, especially with the offensive line as bad as it's been, and especially with the wide receivers not getting open. See, that's the problem that I've really got, is that we just looking at what's going on with the quarterback. And hopefully we don't do this with Jalen Hurts. Hopefully we do not do this with Jalen Hurts because, oh well, the kid he missed the open guy, but he also got two two uh, defenders in his face. So you might see him because it's on screen. That doesn't mean he's seeing because he got two six foot seven guys in his face. We just got to understand that it's, everything is not on a quarterback. You got to look at the coach. You got to look at the scheme. You got to look at how we rose him. You got to look at the players. That's really it, man. I just wanted to let y'all know that we should be we should be good to go live around seven o'clock. Be there, beware, man. Y'all already know. Yo that.